With 80 hero gems on the line, today we are going to be taking on Ultra of the new event, Searcher of Sound Waves and Tentacles, Futuring Shoji, okay? This event is also going to feature alongside him, Jiro and uh, Gang Orca. So this is not going to be an easy fight to say the least. And when you take a look at the strategy info, it's really interesting to see that like the idea behind this is to stun Shoji, but at the same time, you don't don't want to stun Jiro or Gang Orca because when you stun Shoji, it gives him max HP down, which is going to allow you to actually do damage to him, which is good. But then if you stun Jiro or Gang Orca, then they get additional buffs like critical resist up and critical hit rate up for all allies, which is insane. Okay. So don't run necessarily an AOE stunner. You want to run a single target stunner. And that is why today it is finally Vigilante Deku's time to shine. I am super excited. Also, we have the Fantasy or Rock who can stun and then we have a Bakugo for tanking so it should work out pretty well we have extra crit rate uh, memories on our characters as well as plus ultra gauge with adventure awaits and then crit rate from our Raka as well and the higher our chances to hit a crit the higher our chances to stun because stun goes from a low chance to a medium chance with crit or from a medium to a high chance with crit either which way you want to look at it so with that said all right, so after all that spiel, I did end up changing the team a little bit because I did do two attempts and kind of failed. I got Gang Orca dead on one, I got Jiro dead on the other, but then I just wasn't able to get through it. So I think the idea here is to get more crits because the more crits you get on uh, Shoji, it will automatically stun his allies, which is nice. So if we're running Tokoyami here with the additional attacks, I think that will end up working out for us. So that's what we're gonna be running here. We're gonna see how this goes. Hopefully it goes all right. Um, yeah, hopefully better than the two runs I just did before. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, get Fajin stacking at the start here. I think I am going to go after Jiro first because Jiro is annoying with the AoE stuns. I can deal with the evasion, but I can't deal with uh, how annoying the AoE stuns are. Okay, so we go like this. Oh my gosh, it just takes forever. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get the Fajin going. Uh, we'll go ahead and go for the stun on Shoji. Uh, oh. Actually, we want to make sure we're getting... Okay, so we want to go like this. We want to go like this. Then we want to go like this and give him the ability to use two normal attacks. Okay, that'll work. No stun, that's fine. No crits either, that's unfortunate. No crits? Are you serious, man? What is this? Okay. Uh, we're just not hitting crits today, apparently. That's cool. Okay. Got a crit and a stun, finally. She evaded. And did not hit a crit on her again. Okay, there we go. We hit crits. They all got stunned. Okay. Uh, now let's go ahead and do these on Jiro. Everything on Jiro, right? Okay, Jiro got stunned. 77,000, very nice damage. 67,000, very good damage on Jiro. All right, we wanna get the Fajin going. We're gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna do this, okay. Hopefully we kill uh, Jiro this turn. So we don't wanna deal with her multi-attacks. Beautiful, okay, Jiro's dead. All right, now we need to go after Gang Orca. We did stun Shoji there, so that's fine. We'll go ahead and do this, and then this. He resisted the stun, that's fine. We got a pretty good amount of damage in on him right there. All righty, and then we do, it doesn't really matter now. We just go ahead and uh, use these. Okay, Gang Orca's dead. And that should be about it for Shoji. We just have to literally kill him off now. Uh, you won't be able to kill him until you hit so many crits, I believe it is. I think it's 12 crits because he has persistence until then, if I remember right. I'm gonna go ahead and use this plus ultra here. So that's why you also bring Tokuyami along for the additional attacks. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do this. Do this, do this. There's a crit. There's another crit. And another one. 
There we go. Okay, yeah. So I believe it's 12 crits to get him dead. Don't quote me on that. I believe that's how it goes. So that would be my strategy right there. Go Jiro first, then get gang work out of the way, then go after to or, uh, Choji. And that's how you'll be able to do this. I think Tokoyami helps a lot because obviously he gives you the additional crits, which is very nice. You could potentially try out someone like Gita who gives additional attacks to the whole team, but I feel like Tokoyami is just really good at it. So that's who I'd run here. This team works really well. If you guys did enjoy this video, if it helped you out at all, please consider going down there, hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button, and thank you guys so much for watching. Peace!